Hello guys, welcome back to Raise Gaming and Tech Productions, and today I'm going to show you guys how to speed up download speed for Epic Games, Steam, or browser downloads. So this video today should help you guys get from 5 megabytes per second on average to about 20 megabytes per second on average if you have a decent Wi-Fi speed. And I'm going to be showing you guys one way to check your download speed and upload speed and two methods to speed up your download speed for pretty much any app that you might be downloading stuff off of and it should help tremendously so if you guys might be wondering why i haven't uploaded in about a week it's because my hard drive messed up you know you know all that that's why my screen looks different that's why i have all these different games and stuff and it's not as cluttered because i had to get a new hard drive so that's why i haven't been uploading any and i also lost pretty much all of my editing stuff except for a premiere pro because i could just easily download that back but like all of my editing on tools and stuff that i use like things that i usually put inside my video like my subscriber stuff or telling you just to, to subscribe i don't have that anymore so you, you might still see it in this video but i just don't have them inside of folders like i usually do but everything is situated now except for all of those tools i use in my videos i'll be working on that but i'll keep on making and uploading videos and just make sure to check the community tab so you guys will see posts i uh, post a few times just to, you know ask you guys what you guys want to see and the reason why I'm making this video actually is because I give you guys two uh, two choices one of them was for the um, GeForce Now video and for this one and you guys asked for that one first so now I'm making this one now so thank you guys for watching please make sure to, to subscribe and turn on notifications and please drop a like if you guys want a part two or just you guys want a video of your choice just put go ahead and put it down in the comments but now let's go to get so the first thing you want to do is go in your browser and check your download speed and check your upload speed this would uh, determine what like you know your uh, download speed would be normally so what you want to do is you want to search speed test once you search this you can either use the speed test by Ookla or you can just use the one that made by Google I just use this one but you just wait a minute for this to get done so you guys see I'm up at like close to 200 right now but I'll be back once it's done okay guys so that's very confusing i'm not sure why it says at, at, atlanta I, I don't even live in atlanta but um so you guys see my latency is 21 and my megabytes per second I, last time i checked it was like 20 and now it's 196.3 it used i used to only get like five megabytes per second and now i get about 20 or a 40 uh, megabytes per second peak on epic games and steam and all those other apps like origin and i get a 21.9 megabytes per uh, megabytes per second upload so you guys see this right here now this is just the small part because i actually have two methods that would help tremendously and one of them will be the hard drive that i bought and the price for it and just you know the quality of it is really good so i'm going to go ahead and move on to that one so now let's go to get into it okay guys so by what you can see right here this is the western digital caviar blue wd 5008 AA kx 500 gigabytes 7200 rpm 16 megabytes uh, cache and sata 6.0 gigabytes per uh, per second 3.5 inches internal hard drive renewed and uh, it comes with a one-year warranty so um by what you can see here okay here's the one thing that you want to make sure the hard drive that you have right now they actually have two versions of this hard drive they have um say the 3.0 gigabytes per second and they say the 6.0 gigabytes per second you want to check the um hard drive that you have right now if you want to change to this one this is only 20 dollars and it's in stock and and what you want to do is you just want to go on your pc i might put up an image on the screen how you can check it but just going on your um hard drive right now and for most hard drives they have it like right here but what you can see they have like a little um like the um, serial number or you can just look at the name of it go ahead and put this in amazon and see if it's sata 6.0 or if it's um 3.0 and it like nothing else really has to match i mean i guess you can try to match rpm but it, that doesn't really ma matter it's not like ram or gpu you know so with that being said there's not much to it it this is like the best price i could find for it 20 dollars, and this is actually what i have in my system right now and it actually comes with about 456 megabytes i mean not megabytes gigabytes and 
you know, of course, you're not going to get the full 500 gigabytes. You never do, really. And even if you get a terabyte, you don't get the full terabyte. But that's pretty much it for this method. Now, let's go ahead and move on to the last method. Okay, guys, so I, I also forgot to mention that does help. Like, that, that helps a lot. That's a lot better than my other um, hard drive. And it's, that's mainly because the hard drive that I had that, you know, messed up, that one was very old. So, I mean, it, I, I should have expected it to, you know, go. But now let's go ahead and move on to the next one so this one is free download manager so you might already use this one if you don't to which i don't really know uh, that many people who use this but this is like one that was kind of under the radar nobody was really using it a lot and i you know you don't really see too many people using it you usually just see like people um using just the regular download from the browser but this should help a lot and the main reason why it does is because instead of instead of having those viruses you it would first scan them so like you won't see them scanning it but it'll scan it before it actually puts it up on the screen and what you want to do is first you want to um, go to chrome or whatever you're using and download this right here the free download manager um extension you need to have this before uh, before you download down here you just want to download this you know go through the whole setup and then you want to download this extension this is to make sure that they have a connection between each other because if you just have the app it won't be able to see anything through your browser so just make sure that you have that you might have to uh, restart your browser or probably restart your pc but i didn't have to do that and if it doesn't work for you restart your pc but also the hard uh, that hard drive does have a really um fast like boot boot like it, it boots up really fast i'm not sure if that's just because there's not that many um stuff on there i actually have like i think 150 gigabytes on it right now because you know I, I download a whole bunch of games but still it's booting up really fast so if you guys want a fast boot um speed and you guys also want a fast pc all together this the pc is running a lot better i'm guessing because it has more space to work with so you know that's pretty much it but um yeah that's pretty much it you guys see that the free download manager it's it has all of this and i'll actually show you guys and it's, it'll always be down here so you guys can see if you i'll actually try to find something so if you go here and do epic games download and you want to go to epic games launcher download i'll show you how this works so what you want to do is you want to press get epic games uh, i mean everybody knows like this this is not a epic games thing but you guys see it shows up right here as long as you have this extension it should have a, a straight connection straight to the actual free download manager app and it should bring up this and you guys can see download manager see it, you guys see it's the only reason why it's showing that is because I'm, I'm pretty sure with the hard drive if it's like a small app that's like 54 megabytes it's not going to go all the way up to 20 megabytes there's no uh, point of doing that because it, i mean it's just trying to save you know the t the uh, stress that was pretty much it thank you guys for watching if you guys ended up enjoying this video please subscribe and turn on notifications and if you guys have any other video ideas for me to you know um record and upload go ahead and put it in the comments and drop a like and if we get to 10 likes i'll um i'll make any video of your choice now don't you know don't do any crazy videos i'll do a gaming video or something or um i'll try to get back into chromebook stuff it's just there's not that many there's not that much content when it comes to chromebook you have a lot more content when it comes to pc stuff so go ahead and put in com uh, put in comments the top comments i will do that video if i even get any comments but thank you guys for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video